Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. I'm really excited to do my own uh, first series on the channel here where I'm going to be talking about the ultimate guide to building a Shopify store with over 300 conversion items built in. Just to start off, I want to say a big shout out to Jacka Smeed where I originally got the, um, the UI template from. You can buy it off him. It's really well priced um, and it comes with a lot of these screens that I'm going to be showing you. Um, basically what we've done in, 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 in our version is taken those, those designs and we've converted them into a slightly more modern uh, user interface UI. And um, yeah, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be taking you down through my process page by page for how I go about um, basically creating a brand um, from scratch. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So I'm going to start by... Um, I've just created a, a kind of blank canvas here and I'm going to start by um, basically deciding on some of the, the, the color schemes for the project. So I'm using coolers.co uh, for this project. Now you may have seen on our live stream we're building a new e-commerce store uh, called mattressland.co.uk and so I was looking for some different colors to represent some different things we want to do. So warmth We've got this purple at uh, quality we've got the jade and then in the middle here i'm going to use these three colors as kind of accent colors call to action colors etc this sun glow is a great color for for call to action buttons so with those in mind um i will go ahead and grab some of these colors and start playing around with them in my figma design so here's the figma design now the way we've set this up is it's kind of a um programmatic in the sense that we've got certain colors which when I change them here in Figma um, it's going to change them on all of the screens which just gives you a kind of a head start as it were because otherwise it can be a little bit slow um, so then I'm just going to go through and swap out some of the colors to match the new color scheme um, looking pretty good but I'm not really too keen on the way the um, yellow looks on that so again you've got to just play around a little bit I'm gonna come in here and swap my primary color to this instead and see how that looks pretty good pretty good uh, might now use the accent color here for this one the darker color <coughs> um, okay that is looking pretty nice and then <coughs> we may take potentially this jade color and use that somewhere possibly as this secondary color for these CTAs potentially okay so it's looking okay but I think we need to reintroduce that purple so I'm gonna grab the purple again and I'm gonna just try that as the primary color see if we get that warmth and vibrancy we're looking for okay yeah I like that um, let's try this one now as this site-wide offer bar okay I'm starting to like the way this is looking I think now what we could do is grab this sun glow and use that for our secondary accent here on the discount uh, tags and stuff okay okay I like it I like it so um, I have already done a logo um, so this is the the logo for mattress land and in this Figma file, I am kind of messing around a little bit with um, <laughs> the layout. So excuse me there. I'm just going to place this now into the um, the the logo frame. Okay, so I've popped that into the logo frame. I'm going to zoom back out and come back down to my design. Sorry for all the scribbles. And we can see now that Mattress Land, the logo I've done is is sitting pretty there. Uh, may do some tweaks to the sizing on that a little later, but no need for now. Um, okay, so obviously this is just a dummy product, uh, uh, product photo here. So I'm going to jump across to Adobe Stock and grab an image from there. I know a lot of people on this channel will be saying, why aren't you using AI? Well, in my opinion, there's certain things that it's amazing for, certain things that is just literally quicker to grab a photo. And I grabbed one yesterday during the stream, which is here so i'm just going to uh, re-download re this and jump back to my design now i can get rid of this because it's just a dummy as we know 
And I can now drag in my pretty massive image of the bedroom. And we'll bring it down to size. And we pop it in here. So we probably want it in the center point, which is around there. And then we'll just make sure it hugs the top and bottom nicely. <clears throat> there is neater ways to do all this stuff, guys. Um, you know, and obviously if you're a professional designer, uh, you know, you'll probably be laughing at me a little bit. But the one thing that I do have is, you know, enough skills to take a design like this and make it my own. As you can see, it really is starting to come together as a brand already. So now that we're at this point, let's look at some of the key hallmarks of this page. Um, I just wanted to do this top section to show you how quickly you can really create something that's your own. Um, dream big, sleep well. I don't know, we'll play around with that later as well. But yeah, now that we've done this kind of first section, I wanna walk you through a bit more of the home page so that you can get a feel for it. I'm not gonna design the entire thing in real time now because I think you get the idea. But let me talk you through some of the key hallmarks of a highly optimized home page. So top, uh, top menu, a lot is going on. Notice how we don't have home, about us, contact us, etc. here. We're reserving that real estate specifically for product categories. And the rest will go into a hamburger menu up there. Prominent search bar, really important. Ways to get in touch, um, also prominent. And then you can see we're, we're leaving a lot of room for this cart uh, icon here. If the cart's empty, there should be a hover effect on that, which um, basically prompts the user to go to the shop. Site-wide offer then, so this will follow the users around the site, really important to have. And then this section, so crucial, right? I know we're looking at desktop at the moment. We will do a mobile pass on this. Um, but, you know, this section has, has got so much to say. It's so important. It's usually the, the place on the website that gets seen the most. So we've got two beautiful call to actions. We've got social proof with Google and Trustpilot reviews. And then we've got these three kind of stacked benefits, um, reasons to stick around. There's so many reasons to stick around here. There's sales, there's reviews, there's free delivery, there's, there's discounts, there's money back guarantees, there's easy access to the cart, there's easy ways to get in touch. You can see how you start to build a really powerful top section here. Coming down then, we look at the most profitable category first. We then have a browse by category option, really important if someone's here for a specific type of mattress in this case, let's help them get there nice and fast. Best sellers, more on those most profitable uh, categories. Recently viewed products, really, really important if someone's been and they're coming back or they're navigating around the site, we need to bring them back onto the journey where they where they originated from or bring them back into that buying journey, that buying mode. Shop by brand probably won't be particularly relevant with this store, but you can see how it'd be important with others. More social proof uh, with, with an Instagram embed, recent blog posts, and then the footer, which is an often kind of neglected area, but in this case, we, we're repeating those same benefits again, really important, um, and more ways to get in touch, secure, shop with confidence, etc and also the different payment methods available. So look guys, that was just a quick run through of how we put together a, a homepage design that's highly converting. Next time we're gonna look at the category page, the product page, different variations of it. We're gonna look at landing pages. We're gonna look at subscription type pages. We're gonna look at upsell pages, upsell pop-ups. Um, check out upsells, uh, classic upsells, thank you page, uh, spin the wheels, etc. Loads to go through in the coming videos. I'm going to cover one of these in each video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and I look forward to your feedback in the comments. Cheers guys.